And, and I guess you don't have your cam on because you, we got too many devices going on. It's fine. We're looking at your robot avatar over here. And that's who we're talking to, Byron, Artist Byron. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into uh, wax and crypto and, and just your art in general? I assume you've been drawing for a long time, but can you give us like an elevator background of how you got going? <laughs> uh, elevator background. Um, small town kid grows up uh, always kind of into the art scene a little bit but uh, big dreams but lack the uh, drive at the time uh, grow up become an adult get full-time job at a place where you just talk on a phone all day so I started drawing again and uh, like eight years later I started uh, putting it on the internet so here we are now nice uh, well, not quite that, but I mean, a whole lot of stuff happened in between while putting it on the net. But uh, eventually in 2021, I found the NFT scene and that's been pretty cool. Sweet. And here you're very, look at you very fast. You just went from a blank paper to that just while we we're sitting here. So I'm going to leave that. That's cool to see in the background. Uh, yeah. How did you get into the, the nft part what, how, who introduced you to what an nft is and and you were like hey i need to put my art there uh one one evening my half brother sent an email to me saying that he needed art he didn't really say much about why except that had to do with, with blockchain and nfts i knew a little bit about it but not much uh, so i just started sending him shit and uh you know because i got a whole pile of stuff that i've been sitting on forever and he just started showing me how I could mint on the wax blockchain and then people at that time were like seriously hungry for actual art on the blockchain and not like a bunch of whatever it was at the time I guess uh so it it popped off it did pretty well and then uh, just been at it ever since kind of growing along with the chain yeah awesome awesome can you hear me okay too yeah yeah I'm hearing you Mm -hmm. And we're watching your your art happening there. So, okay. wow. So you just, uh, you're not going off of anything? Are you freehanding without, like, without looking at a guide or anything? Yeah, no, I just, I just pop it off. You pop it off. That's awesome. <laughs> Most of your art is kind of like zombie skull type stuff, but I guess there's a, a variety of things too, right? Yeah, I get, yeah, there's a, a big variety. I mean, well, no, I guess there isn't. It's all pretty much the same. <laughs> here, I'm going to, I'm going to put my screen here on just a second. But uh, yeah, I like cats too. I mean, I draw cats. Oh, cats, huh? Nice. Yeah. Do you like cats? Do you like cats? Does anybody like cats? There's we all cat. like cats, of course. Waffles Kitty's in here. <laughs> uh, hi, Waffles Kitty. <laughs> So ask me something else. I'm trying to find, uh, oh, there we go. We do this up. Now I got the other screen on with your website here. Yeah, if we scroll through your website, I see some, uh, you got some info down in there, of course. Uh, you can find everything you need to. You, you're doing PFPs, you're doing, what kinds of different drops and things you're doing? Tell us about that yeah you because some of it's pfp some of it is just clearly just any kind of art here we have our collab drop and you're gonna have a zombify series where you zombify people tell us about any any of these projects that you're doing sure uh well i mean i'm always trying to do stuff and i'm always trying to be busy and i'm always just doing too much probably at one time uh so i got a whole bunch of projects out there um you know like there's the derp series it was fun little just you know smiley faces that look kind of weird kind of like i'm not sure if he's showing up yet for you guys but kind of like this uh yeah it won't show up yet dang but anyway it's showing up soon um when it does i'll see that it is and then i can say see the derps those are the oh, yeah. new series of derps that i've been drawing over the last little while that is so cool um, yeah i'm gonna do a black and white and a color version at the same time and do a whole bunch of blends at the same time and nobody will probably know until I actually do it because I'm terrible at advertising those kind of things. I just get an idea in my head and I just go with it. 
and then it just gets done and I put it out there and then I go on to the next thing. I don't really slow down much. Well, that's kind of how all crea us creators are, huh? We just go and go. Yeah. That, that's crazy how you're able to, uh, like I used to draw a pencil way back in, in the day and it's a very slow process usually, but here I watch a couple of your streams too. Like look at you, you're just going at it. Like that's, that's really talented. Uh, and, and it's really hope it, it goes well as, as to stream as an art stream because you're able yeah, to produce an art within a, a short period of time uh yeah look at you it's crazy so it's what what inspires you for each new stream and new drawing do you just do you just kind of decide right then or do you have any back burner ideas or anything um yeah, it's probably going to be a zombie, you know, or some kind of something a little bit on the horror slant. But uh, no, I don't really think too much before I start things like this. Uh, I just kind of give it a go. But, you know, like other things with the Zickles, for example, I'm not sure if you've ever seen my Zickles, but they're uh, zombie pickles. They're a fun little thing that we're trying to put together a kind of a collecting game out of. But... Uh, Anyway, myzickelarmy.io, if you ever want to check that out. But so when I do things for that, it's specific in mind, right? I'm thinking about drawing a pickle. Again, no, it's a zombie pickle. So I'm drawing a zombie pickle. Uh, when I set out to draw a cat, you know, it's a cat. But even if I try to draw a cute cat, there's a really good chance that I'll put a line somewhere kind of wrong. And then my brain will say, zombie, let's make a zombie. So I make a zombie. <laughs> zombie kitty. And here, yeah. here you're coloring too. So uh, are you, do you usually only use the watercolor or other mediums? Um, again, depending on the project, I like, I like to be like fast and smear stuff around. And watercolors are really good for that. They dry really fast too. So I like playing with that. But I like acrylics for the fact that you can kind of texture them up, almost like sculpting. Uh, same with oils for that effect, but oils, they take forever to dry. So, I mean, it's a lot of weight. I'm not a very patient person sometimes. Neat. Wow, that is so cool. This will be like the second zombie waffle skitty there is because the first one was um, the Tales of the Crypto. Yeah, and uh, I was also zombified for Tales of the Crypto, and I'm going to be zombified for Byron's series. Yay. So that's exciting. Yay. Uh, yeah i have a that's actually one of the biggest projects i'm trying to do but again it's with the advertising the fact that i'm i'm okay at it but i'm not consistent enough to really get that uh, consistent drive um i have a project where i want to draw people as zombies at a certain kind of angle right and then i want to give those people those drawings or those paintings whatever it may be uh, and, but then take parts of each of them and then make an actual PFP out of it where all the different people's zombie face parts would match up well enough to actually look like another kind of person, but as a zombie. Yeah, that that is interesting. So it's not so it's a whole bunch of zombie like actual personalities becoming zombies as the art, which we would right. recognize. But then also you're going to the goal is to transform that into an automated PFP where we would have parts of those personality zombies to create a unique PFP. So, exactly. <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, but it's all kind of preliminary, right? You don't have the, the, you have to buy the drop, a special drop to be zombified and, and to get these perks. And you're waiting to get kind of a, uh, a library of folks to do that and create all theirs before you go forth with it. So, it's more of a long-term thing to actually before you get to the actual PFP like next year. That's a cool one there. Is that supposed to be somebody? Is it supposed to be somebody? It's what I was drawing in the live stream while you were setting up the whole scenario and doing the first grub fish. This is my <laughs> version of you. Wow. <laughs> oh, can I do that? Ah. Wow. Yeah, so that picture that you sent me earlier on our, uh, on our Discord chat. Nice, nice. Now I'll it up. What do you guys think? And now he's gonna color it up. Oh snap! Oh snap! Yeah, that's that's crazy that you can, like I said, that you can do it so quick. I'm kind of, 
a little blown away by it. That's awesome. <laughs> cool, thanks. No, this is actually something else I'm kind of looking at wanting to do, um, like almost right away, probably even after this stream starting tomorrow or this weekend, is start just doing live stream art sessions and just drawing people that show up and want to have their zombie their portraits zombified yeah, or, or... or like exactly uh that's a good idea and if people send you like a picture of either of whatever it doesn't have to be themselves but a pet or anything or a random picture suggestions and you would be able to draw them on stream in in a span of an hour or two that's that's a really good stream topic i like it i'd watch okay. it exactly i probably do half hour or, or faster if some people yeah so you hear that guys everybody go follow uh follow byron what was the actual channel called <laughs> oh shit. uh byron rempel byron rempel there it is yeah everyone make sure to follow that and of course it's also an entry in the uh in the bounty block as one of them and if you go and watch, watch a, a live stream. Hey, you're going to do one uh, during Anoftopia as well. You have an hour session uh, here at this same presentation area. And that would be sweet if people show up to that and give you items to draw and just let you go. At, look at you. I'm turning into a zombie as we speak. Isn't that cool, guys? Uh, Jewel Eyes says, you're a dope-ass artist. I'm in awe at how easy you made this look. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Easy and fast, really. Like I say, I used to draw in pencil, and I have stuff, but it's like it takes it took hours normally for me, or, right. or many others, hours to do something like what you're doing. Yeah, he makes like hours of work look like. But you're flying through. It's like a, it's like the time lapse, but it's real speed, pretty much. But to be fair, I mean, I've I've, I've done this for uh, like fourteen years. Fourteen years. Wow. So, oh. so what? Tell us about some of the past arts uh, things that you've done. I know you've probably done a lot of different things. You've got some stuff on OpenSea and uh, what? Or physicals? Do you have anything in like hanging up anywhere? Or what? What kind of different arts have you done? Um, wow. Well, uh, okay, so for an NFT scene, uh, my biggest collection would obviously be the wax one, which I continue to grow. Um, as for physicals, I have hundreds and hundreds of physicals obviously uh i guess because i don't throw this stuff away and i don't know how to sell it very well so um my stuff hanging in people's room uh, houses is the closest i've come to gallery work uh that said because i've been really trying to grind lately i have been talking with people from uh scotland that are kind of like talent agents in a way but not really so they're Apparently have some things. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm, I'm optimistic, but I'm also realistic. I'm not really expecting a lot right away, but things are happening. Um, nice, nice. You can see I'm not a big fan of it anymore. I'm not sure if you want me to say anything that or anything like that, but it's just they've never really been about the artists as much as they've been about trying to milk a buck. Yeah, in general. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I have stuff on there, but I'm not putting stuff on OpenSea anymore because um, minting there is next to impossible now unless you drop a whole collection. And I like doing bits and pieces here and there. Oh, yeah. um, and and we all like, save money by uh, using wax as well, creators yeah. and buyers. So, But that said, I'm also now looking at Manifold a little bit just to experiment you know like you, as an artist you just can't be limited to one uh my fan base my biggest fan base is obviously on wax and i continue to do the best i can for them with all sorts of things for free like the um, dhc for example that's the hordes coin it's our own little token that we have and it's something we give away for free in our discord if people do the whole work channel thing um we also give a whole bunch of NFTs away through the Alien Worlds mining. We have uh, Magar 221, and it uh, five miners every hour. If they meet the criteria and have the mining pass, they get to uh, uh, a chance at an NFT. Or, well, I mean, five miners always get an NFT every hour as long as they meet those criteria. Uh, so we're giving prizes there, like. Uh, you know, wax is amazing. So I just continue to like giving people stuff on wax. It's fun. 
Yeah, for sure. It makes it easy and uh, efficient, even for us indies that don't have budget or anything. We can we can yeah. totally do it. Ain't, ain't no biggie. Yeah. Look exactly. at this. It's done transfer. This is awesome. It really the color popped it out a lot too. Yeah, because uh, you got like shading in there stuff. It really. Now we got out of nowhere. Now there's a brick wall behind me. How about that? <laughs> so all these stream arts. So do you ever do you mint all of them or do some of them just end up or most of them end up just being for the stream and that's the end of it? Uh, a lot of times. Yeah. Um, but I try to mint it. There's only so many hours a yeah. day. <laughs> well yeah yeah and they don't have yeah, to be all drops or anything i'd say i was no, gonna no, say no, like no. if you're drawing them they like they make good giveaway nfts just for the art so if you're drawing yeah. them anyway on the stream they could turn them into giveaway nfts when i first started my idea was that yeah like anybody shows up drop your your wham in the comments and i'll uh i'll send you a, a copy of the nft of, of what you just watched you know kind of thing but that proved out to be a little harder than I expected it to be to be continuous. So I kind of dropped it just for now. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that I figured out a way to do it where it's a little easier, maybe through Twitter or something instead of uh, on the actual stream. Cause I forgot to go check the stream. Wow. That looks, that looks awesome. Um, yeah. Carly was asking about the avatar. You do look good now. Look at you. You can click, you can type C to get the shortcut to the avatar. And if you create an account, which I assume you guys have, you got the profile picture and stuff. If you create an account, then it'll save it. So that way, if you don't, if you're only a guest and, and you refresh, you'll go back to the, the robot. But if you have an account, it'll save it. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for a bit. It was pretty wet. Cool, look at that thing. Yeah, that looks awesome. It just, just came out of nowhere. All right, so how about we take like a request or something? Somebody got a favorite type of something or other. I don't know. Anybody right. from the chat got a request? Uh, I mean, you could literally send us a pic, but if you have like a a, a, a topic, or if he can zombify it. How about a random animal that he'll zombify? Terror cards, what's up? First time chat too? <laughs> Welcome. He says, looks great. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Jewel I says, I was a visual arts major and I ap apprenticed as a tattoo artist. Wow. And I cannot create anything even comparable to what you so quickly create with complete original style and so well working together details you apply so confidently and seems almost effortless. Wow. Well, we got some praise there. I hear you though. I'm, I'm totally with you. And thanks I'm for blessed. saying that, Jewel Eyes. That's cool. We got... Scooby-Doo, uh, a, a fox, a decapitated fox, a zombie elephant, a yeti. We got yeti. a yeti kind of matches our collection. We have cryptids in our thing, but uh, Scooby-Doo, fox, elephant, yeti, whatever, anything. He's already started to go, got yourself a little start of a face there, huh? A little bit. Just doing something now. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see here. Awesome. Am I in the right? Is everything showing up good? Okay, good. I had. Let's see. Now yetis are kind of weird, aren't they? They're kind of like nobody really knows what they look like. They look like people, or do they look more like? Uh, it's kind of like a snow Bigfoot, basically. Snow. Uh, just a big hairy guy that's white. <laughs> you could try one of the uh, the animals as well. A fox or an elephant. Well, yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna keep watching for a little bit, but we also have grubs. So go ahead and join everyone. Exclamation mark! Play in your wallet. Go ahead and do it. Got twenty four in here. The next grubs, we're gonna give away something from from Byron here. Actually, I was wanting to show here. I'll do it right here on. On this one, the prizes we got going on. If I do this, there we go. And now I can full screen that. Neat. All right. 
<laughs> Jewel Hearts put like a <laughs> an emote. It's kind of like that, but white for a Yeti. Yeah, it's kind of like a snow Bigfoot. That's how I was thought of a Yeti. Uh, so t take a look at all these uh, all these cool trinkets over here. Oh, thank you, uh, Buzz King, for some more Dogzillas. But all these arts and you provided to us earlier today, thank you very much. There's a big dose of them on the puzzle game. So these are kind of just a, a mix of different things, uh, different floor prices, different caps and things, arts. Uh, and a few of these will also go on the Grubfish right now. Can you tell us maybe, or like some of these, like 300 DHC, What? that's a multiple, What? what is that? Can you use All right, well, that's, that's Dehord's coin. That's an actual wax-based token um, that our community uses to buy my NFTs. And there's some that are exclusively for DHC only. So it's kind of cool. That's what they can earn for free in, in like the Discord and stuff. So if you win that coin, that NFT, you can burn it. And when you burn it, it'll instantly put 300 DHC into your uh, wallet. Gotcha. And then you can go to NFT Hive and find the items that are listed for DHC and, and collect them. So that's actual token that will be in there. So is that your token? The Horde? It is. It's, it's the Horde's coin. Okay, it's the Horde's coin. coin. Yeah, this is interesting stuff. So what kind of stuff can you do with the coin? Uh, I'm sure buy, buy stuff, buy drops. Anything else? What's going on there? Um, well, so far, that's about the biggest thing. I mean, we have, uh, there's a few wax dial farms set up that you can farm some hard to get blended only NFTs as well as some other NFTs. Um, trying to remember them all, but it's hard. Anyway, so you can uh, you can farm for D DHC. Uh, we eventually want to try to do some kind of DAO with it maybe or, or more tokenomics. It's tradable on Alcor as well as Taco. Okay. okay and we're just great. trying to, like me and, and Kirk Stashio and some of the other guys are trying to figure out other ways to use it as we go on. I mean, we're still early, right? yeah that's awesome so i'm gonna give away one of these here so if you win that you'll actually get some token that if when you yeah. burn burn the nft and uh, NFT has the uh the ability to filter by token so you can find the ones that are available for that easily nice we got a couple questions is there sound in the nftopia space yeah terror cars but we're inside a voice zone so that's probably where if you're in here just now i didn't see you but if you want to come in you can but we're inside this voice zone, so you won't, you don't hear us unless you come over here and get in here. Uh, I kind of flubbed the hand here. You'll see it soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of half look. I'm looking at both. Yeah, we see a yeti here. Look at that. We don't got a yeti. <laughs> Zombie yeti. Uh, Tishy's asked, "Are you a tattoo artist too? Have you ever drawn tattoos?" No, I've never. I mean, I've, I've, people have tattooed my work on their body, mm -hmm. which is pretty crazy. But um, I'm not an actual tattoo artist, and I've never actually been hired yet to do um, art specifically for a tattoo, though uh, there are inquiries. Okay. Well, you totally could. Uh, I'm the same. I've never tattooed actual on a person, but I, yeah. where I used to draw, like in high school, I, I did commissions on paper, and then they would t get those designs. They'd show those designs to the artist, the tattoo artist. And that's that's cool. That's that lets you do a custom design before you go to a tattoo artist. I mean, that's cool. If anybody wanted to commission by an artist for anything at all, he would be open to it. If it's a tattoo design or if it's a physical art or anything, anything, I, I'm sure you'd be down to do any sort of commissions. And then you got your drops too. So make sure to check those out. And if you, uh, yeah, and we have Archilab drops here in an hour and 20. So don't forget about those. That's going to be fun to see who gets them uh and also the zombify art uh there's a it's a drop on nft hive it is 2500 wax but it supports him and he's there's a lot of stuff that comes with it and you get to be part of this big thing next year and be a part of a pfp and you also get your own one of one and all this stuff that that he's trying to add value to all the things that he's able to do so yeah i have a lot more ideas going on with that as well soon Although I think you're doing a grub fish right away, right? Yeah, we can do one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're welcome to, to screen share too to show stuff too. I know you're over here 
physical art egg, which is so cool to see. I've never had, hey, I've never even had that here on my stream before. Uh, somebody hand drawing something. Uh, but if you wanted to screen share, you can too. Yeah, let's do a grub fish. Last call to get in here. And we'll do first place, we'll get the SIS number five. Let's see what that looks like quick. Oh, it exactly. looks like a skull. So those are the ink skulls, the sketchy ink skulls, I think, right? Yeah, yep. Sketchy ink skull. Nice. Yeah. I, and you, you I guys in here, I have on the left side, I have my screen there. So it's a double. We got a double screen on going on. Cool. That's going to be uh, first place. And then I also have fifth and tenth, which will get the DHC. So you're going to get. Uh, 300 300 tokens if you win that one which you can so you would burn that nft to get it and then you'd have those coins yeah those NFT. Coins. cool or wax if you want or spend them on nfts that's right it takes a lot as jewel i says it takes a lot of self-confidence self-discipline a steady hand and patience for both the tattoo and the client who may or may not act like you're killing them but refuse to not get the art <laughs> i heard that I don't actually have tattoos either of my own. No, me neither. But yeah, I, I know some some artists. Yeah, and I will totally agree about making art. It takes a a, a lot of patience. And sure, what you said, self discipline, steady hand. That's a good way to say it. A steady hand, uh, because really, what is art? It's it's making your hand do what your mind wants it to do. <laughs> and that without uh, a, without having a hand that you know easily does it, that's the words for it steady hand uh so so me with a steady hand i was able to uh, that's how I, I would describe it as well uh but the talent it's, there's a lot of talent a lot of, a love a practice of course uh, and being able to freehand not you're you're both you're doing both you're doing it very very fast but you're also freehanding out of your head which is different. Uh, a lot of artists, myself included, I have to look at something uh, as a guide, okay. and then I might change it. I might modify it, but I'm always pretty basically always looking at some kind of guide. We're here, you're just going freehand, going at it, and that's just awesome. That's very talented. I'll be honest. For this one, I did look at a picture of a fox, and I am looking at it from brief time to get the. Uh, oh, sweet! We got a yeti and a fox in the house. All, all right. right. Well, what was another suggestion? Anybody? There was I'll an elephant. Oh, an elephant. All right, elephant, I'll do a weird one and it'll be all freehand. All right, let's get our grubbers on. Uh, so what I just said, first, fifth, and tenth, and then every, uh, I messed that up. Tenth, tenth place will, will not get a 300 DHC. Uh, tenth place will actually get a collab badge from us, which is dropping in an hour and 15 minutes. But the, the 10th place winner will also get one tomorrow minted to them, all right? And then every fifth beyond, we'll get a promo from Consumer Break. Last call to get in here. Let's go. I'm gonna put it here on this small one. So what? How do people play Grubfish? I've never tried it yet. Uh, they would just enter through the Twitch, and then that's it. <laughs> they, there's some commands that they can do while it's playing, but it's not needed. The command would just make your Grub move around. And then the, oh. uh, the leaderboard happens automatically through the order of the dead Grubs. All right. So here we go. We got 25 A on here. And three, and two, and one. And good luck. And good luck. There we go. Now we got an exploder. Nifty Stook. That's right. Grub explode. Grub murderers. <laughs> Thank you all for hanging out with us today. We're here with Byron. We're still gonna look at some more arts. Give us some more suggestions. What's your favorite animals? 
Give us your favorite animals and he'll zombify them. Here, right oh. now, in the next hour. And also, we're gonna keep playing some more grubs. Uh, I can do some more Anaptopia updates and show you some of the events we have coming and our floor plan. Also, I'm going to look, we're gonna bounce over to the break first later and I'll show you at least three of uh, the hidden guitars. And we'll have our drops here in an hour and 10 minutes. And also, uh, Diablo from Battle Miners will be coming here in 40 minutes and we'll have a short NBM update and an AMA then with Gruffish for, for some NBM prizes. So we got, we got some stuff coming up here. Hope you stay tuned and if you're not followed already, to follow. Terracar says meerkat. A meerkat. The wax wolves say wolf. They want old zombie wolf. Oh. All right, that reminds me. Jewel Eyes says lion. Ain't lion. All right, congratulations, Buzz King. Buzz King in the house. Buzz King, you got the SIS number five. That's that ink skull. Well done. Stellic in number five, you got the uh, the horde coins, 300 horde coins. Congrats! Tenth place is Reg of 933. You got a collab badge. It's an epic collab badge. Congrats! And then a uh, pack of one promo goes to Teke in 15, Wax Wolves in 20th, My Druger in 25th, and the grip, biggest grub murderer, the only grub murderer, is Mephistook with two murders. You grub killer, you. Well done. You also get a promo. I messed that one up. All right. You guys can go ahead and rejoin. Here we already have an elephant in the works. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put him to the side and go to the meerkat for a minute. Like the idea of a meerkat. They're cute. Try to go cute for now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Zombie elephant. Everybody has questions for Byron or suggestions, throw them in the chat. Right now is a good time to do it, y'all. I like the energy you bring. The energy. <laughs> energy. Well, come in Oftopia, it's going to be all day long, baby, for two days. It's going to be That's fun. That's crazy. Is that an elephant with a snake for a trunk? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's a cool hybrid creature, am I right? <laughs> it's gonna get a little clunky. It kind of got carried away. I think about grubfish too much. Wax Wolves, that's the first grubfish you ever won. Well, congrats. Oh, look, we got a comment on Waffles Ki on the stream from Waffles Kitty over on Byron's stream. It says, where do you go for inspiration? <laughs> Well, currently, the chat. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't know, it's an everything, everyday kind of thing, right? Like, it's, I don't know, everything. Anything, uh, spur of the moment. I kind of let my mind wander when I do a lot of my stuff at home. Like, when I'm watching TV or something, I'll just start drawing and see where it goes. Usually, again, like, it's just letting off um, emotions or things of the day and often turns a little dark. But better than in, right? It's a great outlet, it sounds like. Yeah. A great yeah. way. Uh, not just something you love, but also an outlet, which also back when I was a kid, it was for me too. Just uh, sometimes you just want to sit down, put some music on, and get something on paper. That's kind of the cool thing with the blockchain too, like especially the wax one, right? We can uh, start to put our artwork out there. Oh, this is well, not where I want it. But anyway. Uh, we put our artwork out there and it's minted now it's in like history in a way right so a year later it's it's documented how far we've come as an artist or as a person or, or whatever right that's kind of neat nice tarot card says your family's also an artist right they have their own work area or do you all share uh yeah we're all uh basically we're all kind of artists my eldest son and my wife more so than my two younger sons but i mean they have the ability if they wanted to my one son is really good at writing um my other one is just good at making stories up on the fly like it's just weird but 
Uh, we don't all have our own workspace. I don't even have a, my own workspace. Not anymore. Not really. Um, we just I work in the kitchen. Troy works in his room, and Monica works in the kitchen with me sometimes. And that's about it. We have fairly portable. I mean, you only got so much space, I guess. Oh, I've got way too many boxes filled with old artworks just sitting downstairs. Nice. Actually, need the stairs now. That's right, because I'm trying to put them on the wax blockchain. Because I'm trying to sell them as NFTs or even give them away as redeemable NFTs um, through a slightly different collection of mine. Trying to trying different things out, right? Yeah. Uh, it's cool that you're offering redeemables through the art. That's one thing you're able to do. Obviously, you have to ship those, but it, it's a Definitely, especially if they're very exclusive, like the one we're doing here. The legendary badge gets the the custom one, the very exclusive. Uh, you get to sign it. You know, you can hold that. I think that's a lot cooler, more personal than a than than a sticker or figurine or something. Those can be too, but like this is literally something you just drew. Boop boop. Ooh, Look at ooh. that! It looks like it looks like a meerkat too, huh? What do you guys think? That's awesome. Is next up will be a Zickle once the meerkat is done. Does anybody in your chat own a Zickle? I'm pretty sure Stargnell it is. Star uh, I don't know. How about you? Do you have a Zickle? A Zickle? Yeah, you don't have a Zickle? I'm not sure. You would know if you had a Zickle. Huh. So you don't have a Zickle. All right, you see, uh, you see what I'm starting to draw now? Yeah. Okay, this is a Zickle. I just Google image Zickle and I see, I see it. It does look like it. MyZickleArmy.io. Check that out. <laughs> Interesting. This is something that the Horde, the community, um, basically built around my artwork uh, about a year a year oh. and a half ago. Sterganel was, was part of that. I can't say his name right today. Anyway, he was uh, part of the genesis of the, the MyZickle army. It's on a small hiatus right now. It's under like a leadership control or some kind of coop. I'm not sure. Uh, we just hear smashing in the fridge all the time. So we're just kind of letting them do their thing. But I think pretty soon they're going to be ready to make another comeback into the metaverse. Um, not like they ever left, but their original comeback was short-lived and it got eaten. Well, that's neat. Oh, I got a cool website here, though. Yeah. Branching Thanks. out into all sorts of little little things. Yeah, but again, that one's an old one. And once uh, some things get a little bit better for the, like, for myself anyways, um, I'll be able to really focus on that. Because it's kind of fun little game where we have... Uh, not just like collecting different kinds, but it eventually would become a actual game where you're building a little army to fight other people's armies. But you know what? We're still early. Sweet. My Zickle army. So now I have another original my Zickle or another original Zickle drawing that I'll probably paint later on. And uh, wouldn't it be fun to have a, like a little cartoon or like not cartoon maybe, but live action uh, comic book? Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> Just all sorts of fun things that can be now possible because you know, I mean, like NFTs are, are yeah, part of that. Yeah, some animation to that. Yeah. Jewelize is my wallet the same one with from the collection? Uh which one do you mean? Like the prize wallet? If so, then not. No, that's break.fx. And then I have a personal wallet, but Alright. Sickle. Sweet! Look at the little character. <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants to send NFTs for us to give away, break.fx is the wallet for that. And I, I can throw them on grubs or different things. Swag. <laughs> so how many people show up to NFT Opia? Well, typically? we'll find out, huh? We've only had three this year. 
Uh, and we don't really know the total concurrent people, like how many will be in there at the same time. Our max is 100. So hopefully it'd be sweet if we could keep that maxed up. We'll see. But like total people showing up through through the entire weekend on and off. Uh, in, in January, we had about 900. Then in the next one, we had about uh 750 or something like that 650 holy in cow July we had uh seven something almost 800 so we'll see we'll see what this one brings now this is a lot we've been saying it's a lighter event because it's our first time using this space uh it's there's 40 booths not 80 booths from july 40 is still a lot of booths though y'all <laughs> there's, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of fun fam that's gonna be here um uh, but we also don't really know how well the space is going to handle loading and stuff when there's 100 people here. It does get slower the more people and the more assets there are. So that's why we were trying to keep it more light. The booths were cheaper. There's not as many events. There's two days. But it's still, uh, still a lot of stuff here. There's still a lot of stuff happening for two days. Uh, GoPeril's excited and said that frame VR is really good for this kind of stuff. You know, I really like the screen shared wall things too. Yeah, because frame didn't have or inverse didn't have that. So that, that makes it neat. Uh, I'm going to keep using like regardless because there's also other metaverses that we may be using next year that that will that will be hold more and stuff be more robust. But I'm going to keep using the frame for my streams anyway. Uh, now that I'm a the metaverse guy metaverse host guy uh so we'll always have a place to hang out in the frame and i like it. this is a cool way to do guests i think i like this for doing guests so there you go look at that now you got another skeleton type character nice i got another grubs going everybody go ahead and join that we're gonna do another with uh with nobody's more prizes. asking any questions more questions Questions. Where's all the questions? Yeah, we need some more questions. Throw them in the chats. Terracard says frame was smooth during your screening last week. Great. Yeah, well, your screening barely had any assets, or uh, and I don't know how many people you had, but great. That's awesome that it was smooth. But here, like in, with all this booth stuff, we have a, a, like two, three hundred assets in here, and that that's what's slowing it down. But it's still totally, it's not bad right now. And once you're loaded in, also, I feel like it's all super smooth. It's just when you first load in. I don't think people are actually lagging. But who knows? The uh, live stream, what you see is like almost four or five seconds after I've done it. Right. Yeah. So Twitch shows it four or five seconds faster than you see it. Or longer than that. Yeah. A lot of times it's 10, 15, long. 30 seconds. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I didn't have my stopwatch. GoPro says zombie watermelon or zombie fruit. All right, good idea. Heard that. <laughs> Merry dark and twisted music Christmas is <laughs> July. Yeah. Uh, you guys in here, you don't hear music. It's in the Twitch, but yeah, I uh, I kind of recycled the music from our last zombie collapse, so that's what you're actually hearing. Uh, that was the Tales of the Crypto one. Because <laughs> I did all this puzzle stuff in like an hour, be two hours before the stream. That's how it goes Good. sometimes. It's the zombie fruit you're going to see soon. Zombie fruit coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah, I forgot. It was probably closer to about 10 seconds or more. So now I feel silly. Should have tried to time it right. And I'm going to also, while you're doing that, I'm going to bring up the puzzle again. I'm, this time I'm going to play the, and then we're going to do a grub fish. So go ahead and expedition our play in your wallet if you're not in there yet. Terror card says, Byron, how did that chat with the image comic artist go? Uh, uh, not interested. <laughs> not, not interested. Yeah, I was kind of pointing out to um, Eric Larson who did the Savage Dragon at Image Comics, that uh, Wax would be an amazing opportunity for uh, a comic company to embrace and, uh, you know, 
they can either start sales that way or they can start like it's just if anybody if any comic book creators embraced wax and really went all in um it would bypass traditional everything right like it would it could change the whole landscape and if a major comic book company led that charge i think it would be historic yeah for sure i mean as far as major companies there's a lot that could but yeah a, co a comic is a great uh having a great medium that could use it for sure yeah anyway so i i mentioned that to him and uh he said that he is not at all interested in that and i think it mostly has to do with the whole shitty image that uh that oh, of course uh, nfts got in general so i mean in that regard almost thinking about changing the name of what we're doing into something like more uh, digital collectibles or yeah uh, that's um art, right? as far as marketing to web two people yeah that should be the approach that is the approach they're taking at comic-con that wax is going to comic-con y'all uh, yeah. thanks to drawn company and broken dolls and they're spreading some uh physical trading cards from collections which is really neat the horde uh, represent but that's what that's their approach they're not saying there's no nft anywhere in text or in verbiage it's all digital collectible or yeah or similar uh not even a wallet. it's not a wallet it's an account because <laughs> just web 2 people just still do not get it and they just they only think of the scams and the stuff that was mainstreamed and we all know yeah. this so and we also know it's all bogus and it's not what we're doing here but well it sounds more like here's my a, money it is a different ball game when you talk to people that don't know crypto look at this uh this cat look at this thing that's awesome looking i got uh the puzzle game too next to you and this time i'm playing the um the official collab one so this one actually shows all the stickers on it or all the different prizes on it and i'm going to just race through here and show you what a quick score looks like just like this boom 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 concentration oh that's a good one 24.95 that's what's up and you see on this puzzle all these different arts uh that's 20 different prizes that are all going away just for solving this puzzle and you see them all there so they all you got some sketches and inks and colors and all sorts of cool looking stuff from artist byron and also including our collab uh and our new ones at least two of them so there you go and well done to everybody that solved it already boom there you are you can get this app at consumerbreak.com make sure you get them solved also shouts to the people that solved the password one the password is zombie Buzz King, Tissues, Fat B, Cody Bear, Kiwi Loves Pizza, Randman, My Druger, Mark Brog, Salamander, Jamie Penguins, Vistacella, Teke, Thomas, and Jewel Eyes. You're in here. Well done. What is Byron's favorite zombie movie? Asked Puzzle Puzzler. Uh, all depends on the mood, really. Um, can't go too wrong with the classic, you know. Uh, it's never too late to see that one again and again and again and again and again. But. Um, there's some that I don't like as much as others, but I still, I don't mind them. I'm trying to think of one that was recent for me. None of the living think. dead, old school, black and white, says GoPero. Yeah, I love that one. Hey, GoPero. I liked uh, the early seasons of Walking Dead. I didn't watch much more beyond that. I like, yeah. uh, I like Zombieland. <laughs> I thought it was a fun movie. The first one was pretty the good. The second one. one, I think, was trying too hard. Yeah. But, I mean, what am I? I'm not a movie critic. That movie came. Movie is really hard, so. Uh, how about The Last of Us show? That was pretty fun. I actually haven't seen that. Yeah, I don't I have that station. I like the so. first half a little more than the second half, but. Yeah, uh, I kind of gave up on TV shows for a little while, too, because they're kind of getting the same. For me anyways i don't watch a lot of tv i watch movies once in a while um, 
I don't, I don't have the time to watch much. Oh, I'd, yeah. like, I'd like to watch more stuff, but I, I typically just work. Sometimes I feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> awesome. We're going to do another grub fish. Look at that beautiful art. You're just cranking it out. And it's not just sketch, it's color. It's awesome. It's a grub fish. Uh, I don't know. So now you're adding ink on top of uh, the color, the watercolor? Uh, yeah, I put, uh, I use Jelly Roll pens for colored ink. And then uh, after that, I'll go back with the black pen and just add more depth. Uh, awesome. Start finding where the shadows are more. And yeah. It's just a constant little work. Sometimes I do it quick, sometimes it's no, that's, that's really quick. That's awesome. So if you ever get the notification from Byron going live, make sure to make sure to head over and see what he's drawing. See what he's drawing up. Any more questions? Throw them in the chat. How about a zombie goldfish or a grub fish? Not goldfish. A grubbers. <laughs> All right, let's find one. One looks like exactly. That's not moving around. The double tap. That's right. The double tap. Jesse Eisenberg, that's my last name. He's one of the only famous Eisenbergs. <laughs> a grubfish is like just a little glowworm almost with a... Kinda, kinda, yeah. With a crown. Go ahead and join that bad boy. 19 people in here. We're gonna do first place Right. First place and fifth place get the the hoard coin. First place and fifth place. Yeah. Uh, tenth Just place gets a collab badge. You want to know a fun little thing you can do with a hoard coin that you can't do with wax unless you change wax into a hoard coin? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, you can go and you can actually uh, collect and win, uh, collect kind of like a race. See, this is where I lack my ability to sell myself properly. But anyway, um, I have on my website, if you look at it, where's my mouse? There it is. There is a new event. Scroll down a bit on that front page. Will you collect them all? It says, if you click on that, it's uh, an idea that has been tried by the horde before but not very extensively uh, the idea is you collect these 22 art cards and if you're the first you can then take all 22 and redeem them for one of those 22 original paintings Sweet. And there's only 22 what was that on the site what was it called well that's on my site artistbyron.ca yeah and then, and then if you down. scroll down that page, you have to work on my website it's a constant work in process progress have to always change it, always update it. And did I make it look right? Should I make something smaller? You know, it's a pain. Oh, hold on. Sweet. You think he did Sasha's kid as a zombie? <laughs> nice. What about a cute zombie child or baby? <laughs> nice. I'll need it. All right. I need a grub fish. Grub fish. We're yeah, so I, mean, sorry, but I was gonna say like in, I had to go and do something, but in regards to like the whole twenty-two painting collection there, um, it's kind of like giving art away for free, right? Because you can get the DHC for free, or you can buy it. But if you could get it for free, you can technically get original artwork for free from me, which I don't know how important that is to you, but some people might think it's good. Awesome. I thought it was kind of neat way to give back to the community. Yeah, and you guys can find all that out on his website, artistbyron.ca. Welcome, Raiders. We just got Neon Space in here with a party of 19. Welcome. We're over here with Artist Byron. We're looking at him just whipping out art out of nowhere. He's just drawing like super speed, which is really fun to see. 
Uh, got to run and eat, but have a fun stream. Awesome. Thanks for the raid there, Neon Space. Have a good one. Uh, everybody go follow Neon Space, our friends. We're also hanging out at the Anoftopia Space. We're less than three weeks out from Anoftopia, so it's going to be a heck of a fun, uh, fun event-filled weekend. Two days, November 4th and 5th. But you can actually come in here right now if you like as well. That's where we're hanging out. The, the link is bit.ly slash nftopia light, L-I-T-E. And there he goes. Look at that. We got a grub fish. We're getting a zombie grub fish. <laughs> I heard that. And you can also join a grub fish with an exclamation mark playing your wallet. We're going to hit that real soon. So go ahead and join that if you want to play for some prizes. Every fifth grub wins a prize. Wow. Hey, Byron is over here d drawing one up for us. Sorry, buddy. I have a habit of interrupting people. I'm so sorry. Uh, what kind of celebrity would you ever want to see zombified? A celebrity? Hmm. Or a uh, crypto celebrity? Or wax fam celebrity? Well, you just did me at the beginning of the stream. Well, that's and you got to start with the best. You could do you could do a waffle skitty next, maybe. Waffles kid just said, "Here I bet, gotta go." All right. <laughs> Splitter splat instead of critter craft says Chucky. <laughs> Splitter splat. All right. Let's we're, gonna we're gonna go ahead and run this grubbers here in 15 minutes. Carlo will be here. We're gonna talk NBM for a little bit. Uh, but you can keep on drawing there, Byron. Looking great. Sure. And he's also on his live stream, so you can you can watch that too. Yeah, I think uh, after I'm done hanging out with you, I'll mute you and I'll put the volume back on the live stream. There's yeah, only yeah. two people right now anyway, so yeah, hello two people. And we're going to talk to, to NBM just for a half hour up until our drops. Our drops are in 45 minutes, y'all. So if you're wanting to get them, get your wax prepped up. It's only five wax. Per, per drop and there's two collab drops which you can then blend together all right that'll happen in 45 minutes and in 15 minutes carlo from nft battle miners will be coming and we're going to talk nbm for 20 minutes or so uh and the updates they have because we also have a partnership with them all right let's play some more grubbers let's do it 22 people in here first fifth tenth get a, a nft from artist byron Every mm -hmm. fifth place beyond that gets a promo from Consumer Break, all right? Here we go in three, and two, and one. Oh, good luck. We'll probably get another one out here before the half hour, too. Anyone has questions for Byron, throw them in the chat. He'll get to them. We'll answer them. It's an AMA. That's what we're here doing. And if you have suggestions of stuff to draw, throw it in there, too, because he's going to keep on drawing. And after the stream is over too, after our drops, I'm also gonna raid them. Now you can stay as long as as long as you want. You don't gotta stay on long, but as long as you as you want. And if people are watching and suggesting stuff, I'm sure he's gonna keep drawing stuff. Uh, really cool to see uh, hand art being made in real time, very very fast. You can see it being done right in front of your eyes in a matter of minutes. Uh, that's also kind of a street performer skill, isn't it? Have you ever done street art? No, sir. I have been a hermit for like a decade, so I haven't really been out much at all. Uh, but I like it. But that's like one, th because again, art takes a very long time. But if you're on the street doing like characters and stuff like that, it has to be snappy. It has to be super fast. Yeah, I and think that's, that's probably That's one but... use of being able to draw fast. All right, congratulations. Jewel Eyes with the first place win. Everybody say goodbye, Troy. Bye. <laughs> Nobody Bye. says goodbye, Troy. Jewel Eyes, you got uh, the the Horde Corn NFT, 300 DHC. Same thing for Crypto Zug in 50, or fifth place. Congrats. 10th place is Wax Wolves. You guys got the collab badge from us, which is dropping it here soon. 
15th is Waffle Skitty. You got a promo. T. Walter in 20th got a promo. And Go Peril with the three murders got a promo. Well done. Go ahead and join again. Let's go ahead and get some more games in. Are Byron's Pumpkin PFP still live? And have all the graveyards been blended? Let's talk about that. Oh, yeah. PFPs. Everybody likes PFPs, right? Yeah, I'm going like to pull PFP? up your, your... You keep on drawing, but I'm going to pull up your... Uh, your drops right. here. PFPs. The pumpkin. The jack-o'-lantern PFP, rather. That's on NFT Hive. Um, it's a, a quick little jack-o'-lantern idea I had that I put together and thought about it and thought about it, and then I have minted it. And then thought about it and thought, you know what, what more can you do with a PFP? So I made it into a pack. And so if you actually mint your PFP jack-o'-lantern and you don't like it, you can burn it uh, over, I believe at, I think it's at Nefty Blocks actually. Uh, and then you get, um, I think it's two evil pumpkins. Then if you get those two evil pumpkins, well, hopefully you get all six of them because there's six to get. Uh, you can then blend those into a pumpkin patch of evil. And there's only 13 pumpkin patches of evil. See, another idea that I had, I made, and then um, only the people in the Horde Discord probably really know and those that follow my Twitter. So, yeah, there you go. All your drops are on NFT Hub, right? Uh, most of them. Most of them. Uh, you can go yeah. just search Byron and, and NFT Hub, and just like I just did, and you see it. Here we have the Jack O' Lantern PFP, so there's still plenty left, a whole bunch of them left, and you can get uh, your different ones, and I guess you're blending them as well, so that's that's fun. Get yeah, you some pumpkins always, for Halloween! <laughs> the, the kind of, the really cool thing with the whole uh, blending with wax tokens, wax NFTs, digital art cards, whatever you want to call them, is that you can blend them and they don't have to be burnt right away. I actually send a whole bunch of mine in the blending process to that alien world uh, for people then to find again and reuse and use to blend into other things because I have a whole bunch of crafts out there that people can make with uh, my cheap NFTs. Like they can go spend uh, 10 or 20 wax on a, a, a bunch of NFTs and then go craft into something that they could probably resell for 50 wax because there's so few of those out there but nobody's really doing it yeah usually when you blend it you're burning them but there is the option you that from the creator you can make a blend where it doesn't burn them it actually sends them to another wallet and you can reuse right. ingredients that way which yep. is it all depends on how you want to do things but that's that's cool that you're reusing ingredients uh jewel Eyes says i need tips on the easiest approach to creating the individual layers for a PFP collection, any advice? Looks like you got a grasp on it. What do you use to do your layers and that such? I've never done that either. All right, well, for me, when I do it, um, man, I have to almost slow down so that I can show you. But I, I do it in Photoshop because I pay to use Photoshop legitly. And uh, so I start off with my basic my basic layer, let's say I'm going to do a smile face, which I've done. Um, so I have the smile face and then I'll do a whole bunch of different colors for that face of the smile face, right? Uh, and then um, like everything I do, I draw everything out. Uh, so if I have a whole bunch of eyes, they've all been hand drawn or I've taken them from other pieces of my art and then kind of digitally cut them out. But usually I just try to hand draw them. It's a lot quicker. Uh, working digitally is tricky. Uh, so then I'll have like the base layer. So that's my layer one. Uh, then I'll have like a left eye. The layer might show right. No, I should look show left. Anyway, left eye, right eye. Maybe it's the other way around. Um, so each of those could be a layer or I can have them both together. Uh, if I'm not answering your question right, let me know. But everything is just like a, its own layer, right? So if I can line them up in Photoshop, as long as the base looks right, and then I have a, like a transparent eye. Uh, if the base is just solid green, all my black, if I do it all like a transparent eye, all the black parts will be what's printed. The stuff in between will be transparent, right? So the base will show up. So I just kind of keep that in mind as I build. So my my next layer 
So we got the two eyes. You'll probably see the stuff in a few seconds. So I'll draw eyes for a minute while we catch up. But the next layer would be, uh, let's say the nose. And maybe I want the nose to go over top, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll make sure it's the next layer that I'm playing with in Photoshop. And then I'll adjust it to make sure that each nose will blend over top uh, I'll make sure the colors are all solid so that parts of the eyes that are underneath will no longer show up now. Uh, and then I'll do the same with the mouth. And then when I put them into the PFP high, or like in their, in their machine there, the contract, I make sure I have the layers in the proper index order. And then it's just a matter of repetition, right? Like I put one layer in, I do another. Uh, each layer has... 10 attributes. So I'm adding each piece 10 times. So I'll add 10 bases, I'll add 10 left eyes, 10 right eyes, 10 noses, 10 mouths. It's repetitive. It's mm -hmm. tedious. But, you know, it, it's more work than people might think sometimes, too. Like, it's not just drop and, and yeah. go. Carly here, she also did one of those for the wax whoops. But whatever program you're using, Photoshop, or I'm sure there's, there's others, it's a layer per attribute, right? So yeah if it's a nose or if it's an ear whatever it is it's a it's all on it's each on its own layer and then you have to render all those out on them by themselves is that right exactly so, uh yeah. well no yeah like you'll render each of those so yeah that's the other thing but with too, the right? same like sizing of the entire thing so that way they line up perfect over top of each other exactly if you're off then your whole thing will be off yeah um wax wolves I wanted to draw a wax wolf zombie style. Let's see if I can find one to use as a reference. Well, there's through Twitter. How about that? I have problems getting the layers to line up and be separate layers on the transparent background. They end up being Please. so unproportionate when I uploaded that it was when I created in my editor and it saved it as it was. Yeah, like this sort of thing, some of the image editors act different than others. Um, I'm not sure what to say about that. Like I've always made sure that when I'm saving it, it's saving the entire image as a PNG file rather than just what that little piece might be, right? Because some image editors will only save the actual the yeah. close crop as close as they can to save on file size. So then it screws things up. Right. Uh, what he's getting at there is um, your at your file size needs to be the entire character, basically like like as if it was all there but then right. you'd be turning off all the layers except for the the one you need so it's not your output is not is not cropped around your little nose or whatever it's it stays the same exact uh size as the whole thing and your nose will be just in there you know and then right. that way you can get your base and then you put your nose on top you put your ears on top and they all would line up perfect because it's all the same exact file See, I use After Effects, which is like Photoshop, and it would be the same way if I want. If I was gonna do it, is uh, it's all placed in there, and I just turn off all the other ones, and I render it out as if it's the whole thing, not cropped around each, each one. If that helps anything, that's kind of the way it's supposed to be done. That way, it can all line up together whenever they're all separate. And I guess NFT Hive's uh, tool does the rest beyond that. Once you have everything right and uploaded right. Then it does the actual matching together of when you meant and it'll pull the things together but now it's pulling them all together and putting them on top of each other so that's why it has yeah. to line up perfect exactly you got it right on right on all right he's drawing something else let's get our grubbers in here before the half hour any guesses as to what it is any guesses to what it is Uh, I don't know if the fact I'm trying to do it from my phone has negative results. It could be. <laughs> it, it just has to be rendered in that way where it's all lined up right. I couldn't even picture, I guess tablets and stuff do that, but I could never edit from a phone anything. <laughs> Tissue says bore. Well, this is the Wax Wolf one, right? <sighs> yeah, you got it. Nice. Guest, who's guest? You got your mic on. 
Rasta jams. <laughs> Who is that, guys? Who is that? Is that even coming from me? Yeah. What's up, guest? Can you hear yeah, me? It's me, the Martian. Oh, the Martian. What's, What's up? up? We hear your music. Oh, for real? Oh, let me put this out. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. And Diablo just got in here. All right. We're, we're hanging out over here. I'm going to play a grub, and then we're going to get back to it. All right. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> ears turning out great. Yeah, look at that. It looks like a wax wool. All right, let's play a grub fish, and then we're yeah, going to talk to my brother. Talk to Diablo. What's up? Just arriving, just arriving. I, I saw that post on Twitter. I was like, oh, let me go see. I shouldn't be hearing you when I'm in my voice area. But nice we're, to see you here. We're over here at the voice area if you guys want to roll over. Yeah. I'm coming. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to glitch. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing them when I'm in the voice zone, though. Are they in the voice zone? Hello, everyone. Hello. We got artist Byron over here. He's drawing the, us a wax wolf right now. That thing looks sweet. He's been drawing stuff for the past hour, hour and a half. Looks great. Is this live? Amazing. Yeah, this is live. This is, this is his How do I What's up? How do I edit my name? Uh, I don't want to him guest. You're, you're a guest right now. You need to click on the top right and create an account. Oh. Uh, I just I just log in with my Gmail. Yeah, good. So you should be able to edit your name somewhere. Uh, your profile at the top right profile. This is funny. <laughs> oh, I can set a photo. Also nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I, I'm on live stream too. We're gonna play a grub fish real quick, and then we'll, we're gonna talk to Diablo here about uh, battle miners while while Byron keeps drawing stuff. Uh, so if you wanted to get in my Twitch uh, on Consumer Break, exclamation mark play in your wallet, and we'll get this thing going, and we'll talk to Diablo. Last call to get in here. I got 15 people in here. Let's do it. Nice. Nice. 